and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and for clicking on this video. For those of you who do not know me, if this is your first time, welcome and thank you for joining. <laughs> my name is Haley Cole. I am a branding designer and I am also the owner and founder of the Golden Alchemist Shop. And today I really wanted to talk about what I wish I knew before starting an art business <laughs> because there was a lot of mistakes that I made that I really wish I knew before jumping in. And the reason why I wanted to kind of like discuss and talk about this is because I've had kind of two different businesses. I had a business working in a spirit, the spiritual space. Um, and the things that came up when I started and leaning more into an artwork based business and a creative based business were very, very different. And they all kind of like pose their own things what that were coming up. Um, but it was definitely a little bit different starting artwork. So I just kind of wanted to say three different tips, go over three different things that I wish I knew before starting an art business. So let's hop into it. <laughs> So the very first thing that I wish I knew, and I don't, I don't know if everyone's going to agree with me on this and, and that's completely fine. It was just my experience is that I wish someone told me to be more prepared, um, even like energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, as well as physically. Um, and the reason for that is because we live in a world where things can, you know, be one way one day and then completely different the next. Um, and especially when there's apps out there like TikTok and now social media and now like Reels, um, even YouTube, like there's so many, there's, there's so much opportunity more so than ever before for things to change in an instant. And that's what a lot of people want, right? We, we want the, that change to happen in an instant. But if you aren't prepared for that change and you're not prepared for that shift, then you're going to be playing catch up. And I'm speaking from experience because I that it happened to me like I, I was on TikTok and I had a video I've had I, I had multiple videos but one in particular do really well and it literally changed my business overnight um, which was obviously amazing and I was so grateful for but from a physical point of view I I didn't have any systems set up where I was like I was ready for that um, and I had to play catch up the whole time and it actually added more stress. And by that, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy like a million different like poly mailers or anything like that. I'm more talking about like that your website is very detailed, that you have like emails set up, that your wet like that, like everything is taken care of from like a systematical point of view so that if you ever have things happen that like you don't have to worry about that aspect or like the technical aspect of things um that was kind of like the biggest thing for me is like i wasn't my website my like even just like my social media like every like there wasn't much like set up for things to actually happen um and so i highly 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 suggest as much as possible because there are just it's just a novel like there are like in business in life like you're just gonna have things pop up that you weren't expecting and you're going to make mistakes and you're going to learn. But if you ever have a, a thought cross your mind where you're, you're building your website or you're doing like something and you think, oh, is this going to be okay? Like later on in my business and the answer is no and it's something that is affordable and it's something that um, can, you know, solve solve that issue later on. Like listen to that future self that's trying to come in and talk to you um, and set up that system to make sure that you are prepared. Um, and especially because uh, if, if you do have an art business, which is really what this, this video is for, or some sort of a creative business, um, we again live in that in a world where things can happen overnight. And especially around this time where I'm filming this right now um, around the holiday season where people are really looking to buy things like it, every a lot of things can change. And so you want to make sure that your everything is kind of set up so that if something does happen that is amazing and, and wonderful and beautiful that you aren't playing catch up on the technical aspect of things. Um, and then sometimes from the energetic, emotional and spiritual point of view, you can't always prepare for that. 
Um, again, it's speaking from experience, um, but you can prepare for the technical aspect of things. So that is definitely one thing that I wish I knew um, before jumping in. Um, so that way you're not as overwhelmed and you know how to set things up because that's what you want. You want, even from like a manifestation point of view, like you want to look at things from the perspective of like, I know this is going to be successful eventually. So how can I set it up to ensure that when that day comes, everything is all set and it's just going to be a seamless process where I get to have all of these customers and all these clients come in and I get to work with amazing people and people are buying my products and it's so awesome. Like you want that kind of a mentality. So you want to prepare for the best case scenario and not the scenario right now. The second thing that I'm going to tell you, which is not glamorous <laughs> at all, but I never see anybody talking about this and I think it's so important, um, is to make sure that you are tracking your income and that you're tracking your expenses and that you develop your tax literacy. You know what is a write-off um, and you understand exactly kind of what the legal side of owning a business is about. Because I know, I mean, I'm not gonna speak definitely for all creatives but I know for me I definitely have a more obviously like creative mindset and so I didn't really I knew that those things were important but I didn't really understand and I'm not exactly it's not exactly something that I like to learn about but it is something that is very very important so make sure that you are tracking your income, that you're tracking your expenses, um, that you understand the legal aspects of, of owning a business and having a business, what exactly that looks like. Again, that you know exactly what is a write-off because there are a lot more things that are write-offs than you would think. <laughs> um, and so you wanna make sure that, because when it comes to tax season, you wanna make sure that you are completely set and taken care of and that there is not going to be any issues and that you are having the the proper things taken care of when it comes to taxes for tracking an income um i and, and tracking my expenses and everything i like to use quickbooks this isn't an ad for quickbooks um i just really like using them and they saved me <laughs> it completely saved me when i was doing my taxes and when i'm tracking my income so i highly 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 suggest learning about the legal side of having a business so that when that side of things come in that you understand and that you know you're taking care of. Um, understanding what it means to have a sole proprietorship versus an LLC. Um, understanding again, what exactly a write-off is. Cause especially if you, I mean, have any business, but especially if you work from home, if you're an artist, like you probably have a lot of materials that you buy. Like there's, there's a lot that can actually be written off. Um, and there's a lot of things that you can do to make sure that you're taken care of in that realm. And so it is very, very important to develop that, that the financial literacy and understanding that aspect of things. And I just wanted to mention that because I don't see a ton of people talking about it and I think it's really important. <laughs> the third and final tip that I have is to develop some sort of content strategy. And you guys are gonna see a pattern here, right? As a creative entrepreneur, it is so important to make sure that the organizational side of things are taken care of. And some of you might be fine with that, right? And some of you might like be thriving in that um, and do great and be totally organized and have all this stuff down. But I, I noticed that in myself, as well as a lot of creative entrepreneurs that I talk to, sometimes the organizational piece of business is something that gets away from us a little bit. So I highly recommend having some sort of content strategy it, no matter what phase you are at in your business. And if you want me to do a whole other video of what I do to develop a content strategy, please let me know and I will totally do that and I will go into that and I'll kind of talk about in, in depth what that looks like and exactly what that is. But the reason why it's so important is because when you are a creative in, in any business, but especially if you are a creative entrepreneur, you want to make sure that your creativity is allocated towards creating new pro products, creating courses to being there for um, your clients, whatever it is that you do in, in your business. And the truth is social media can take a lot of that creativity because you are creating something, right? And so you wanna make sure that the energy that you're allocating is going to go towards 
your the growth of something and when you lay out the strategy and when you lay out exactly what that's going to look like a you have more control over that growth and you also can see what story is unfolding and you'll have more energy allocated for actually creating artwork for um developing your products for being there for your clients instead of it completely going to the social media aspect of things which is obviously very important especially as an artist and someone in the visual field but it's not the whole aspect of your business and you really want to make sure that your energy for creativity is allocated towards creating things for your business and so that is definitely a tip I suggest. And again, if you guys want me to go into depth of exactly what that looks like and you want me to develop a whole and do a whole video on content strategy, I 100% will do that. Please let me know. I'll go over like, I'll go over like the, the YouTube and Instagram um, or I'll go, sorry, I'll, <laughs> I'll go over TikTok and Instagram in particular. I'll touch on YouTube a little bit, but to be honest, I'm still kind of new at YouTube. So I'm still kind of figuring out what exactly that's going to look like. Um, but I'll kind of go over what exactly it looks like to work with all all the platforms and what the strategies look like and how they intertwine and interlap. So if you want that, please let me know. Literally, if one, again, if one person asks for it, I will do it. Um, so that is my third and final tip is to develop some sort of content strategy for your business and for social media. So those are my three tips that I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am so grateful that you guys watch this all the way through. Seriously, it means so much to me and I hope you have the most amazing and wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.